Hello YouTube, this is Tyrants and we're in the Minecraft world and we're doing my Minecraft world number 4. So let's go ahead and get on to this. First off, I want to show you the new texture pack I'm using. I use two texture packs, but this is the main one I use. I, it's called Missy's 64 by 64 Realistic Pack. And also, my other pack is Dayscraft. And that is a 32 by 32 HD textures. So that's what my texture pack is. And let's go ahead and get on to it. Now, as you can see, I have a gun. For this texture pack, unedited, that is the iron hoe. I just thought that would be a good way to start off the video. And there's a lot of cool textures in this besides, um, I would have to edit out some of them because some of them are just the same, but I don't really feel that necessary. Some of them, they're just the plain ones, and I'm okay with that. So as you can see, there's a big layer of cobblestone. This, the reason for this is because soon I'm going to be making a new mob spawner, and I want to have like this area cleared out. Eventually, I have to clear out that little area, but that's not there yet. Now, as you can see, the mob spawner is no longer there. It's a pretty flat area, and if you glimpse over here, this is the iron bone farm. It is not yet completed. I have, I still have to put in most of the glass. Now, I do have some villagers over there, but I still have to get some more over here. What I've been doing was, since I don't want to go off to where I usually have villagers, I just got a little mob spawner going in the middle, and then I just picked out the villager zombie, and then I just cleared that one. So I wouldn't have to like transport all of them all the way over here. I do have one in that little hut, but that seems to be attracting more zombies over to this area, so it'll be easier to bring them up to there. And as you can see, there's my little pillar to where I bring them up. And yeah, so as you can see, a lot of cobblestone everywhere. This is because I noticed while I was doing this, there was a lot of mobs. Now, I wanted them to focus on this villager. I got him from a villager before I knew that you can cure them. I just had him like sitting around in the back room area. Um, now it's not even there, but back in the back area and right over here is my cobblestone generator. Um, pretty cool, it's just right here. Eventually I'm going to move it, but until then, then it's just going to be right there. Over here you can see um, I covered my railway in the cobblestone half slabs and over here I have a little cactus kind of defense system occasionally I do get the little pops off because of the netherrack being so close to it but that's alright and I also have obviously the netherrack and the fire just to give it sort of a lighting if I could just put plain fire right here that's what I would do because it seems kind of like in the way but it's alright and over here I have the cobblestone walls. They look pretty good and oops. Over here is my main gate. Now I did I personally just made this like just off the random. I was just placing them down and I decided to put these right here. And I realized that if you go over one of them, then it'll just be normal. But if you go through the middle, you can pass through this little cinder piece. So, I just found that out, that was pretty cool to me. And some nether brick fence and some torches on top and a little glowstone ceiling part. And over here, obviously that's the little iron golem farm. Eventually I'm going to have a track. It's going to be underground, but it's going to go underneath and like pop up through there and then you can just walk across there. Or it'll just go straight right there, but like I said, that's not quite finished yet, so... I was going to try and finish it soon, but I just got distracted with my other island. I mean, my other world. And as you can see, there's just a little space in between here. Over there is my nature island, and I'll go to that after we go inside. So as you can see, still the same track. I moved. Since I removed my mouse spawner, I just turned this area into where I could just put my minecart. Got the two iron doors. And this is my broom chest. Now, if um, if you saw my last video, 
I did not have brewing stands, and that was, that was because I created this world really, like, not, not actually soon, but it did not have blaze in there, so I had to go search somewhere, and I finally got a blaze on it, so I started doing potions. This is where I keep my diamond ore and my ender pearls. Once again, the that's just something that I haven't put in a chest. Still keep my wood here, got my bed. And this is where I put my food, and this is where I put my shovels, and other tools, and this is where I put my main diamond using tools. But most of them are at the bottom. Right here I have my little glowstone and stone brick checkerboard pattern. Still got the pop right there, endless water source right there, and snow generator. So that's pretty cool. And down here, this is what I thought was probably the best part of my own. Okay, so... You have the enchanting table, all of the books, and right here is where I keep all my enchanting stuff. Nether portal to have like have a nice nether brick. I think called nether brick. Yeah, nether brick pillar things, gate. I don't know, whatever you would call it, and have a little nether work farm right here. And over here is my little furnace room. We got glowstone in the ground, um, just to just because we didn't want torches all up along the walls. I just want it to be right there, and a crafting table, and down here, this I dis this the style I discovered from this was from Dataless822, and he decided to where if you put trap chests next to regular chests, you can stack them like this. Now these are double chests, and it just goes all along here. All these chests right here are just stuff for a quick drop off, and eventually I sort them. This right here. So I keep all my stone for my mob for my new mob spawner and just some other stuff right here. I still not have to move this. I'm thinking of just moving all the pumpkins and chests out of here and just making this like from right here. It will just be a wall. So I can extend it out this way, but over here can't extend it anymore, so I don't really need to have it all across here. So that's just something different and right here is my underground um I, I guess you could say it's my other ground veggie farm but yeah I got some cocoa beans in there because when I was looking for the new villagers and other stuff like that like the desert pyramids and stuff I found a jungle biome so I got a bunch of jungle saplings and yeah over here is where I used to have like my cows and sheep and pigs and chickens and other stuff. How many chickens right here? Just so I can uh, collect the eggs. I had them right there, but I had a problem where they would be glitching out and then they would go over and destroy my farm. So I just killed them off and I'm thinking of having like sort of a mini village farm down here. Like not enough to spawn iron golems, but like just one where I could just go through here. This will be moved out, but I can just go through here, quick a trade, and just trade with them when I don't like it anymore, and I can just kill them off, and then I can just continue the process. I'll leave them some room to breed and other stuff, so. Yeah, that's what that is. Over here, I have my little mine. I moved it up to level 12 because at bedrock level, or near bedrock level, I seem to get um, too much coal and redstone and stuff. Right now what I'm really needing is the diamonds. So I found out that if I just move to 12 I get lots more diamonds. Like this, this is rich for me because I usually only mine a very, like every so often. Okay so let's go ahead and get in here. As you can see the half slabs over it make it sort of a see through effect. So you could just ride through here and you can see had this nice little waterfall barrier. It was kind of hard, so I had to put half slabs over top of it to keep the water from freezing since part of it is in the Arctic biome. And just go out through here. I have my little roses right here. This is where I put them for when I was over there. I um, have my wheat farm, my potato farm, my carrot farm, my melon, pumpkin, sugar cane. And over here I have, I'm making, um, for future reasons, I'm going to have a lot of green and red wool st stocked up just because I like those two colors together 
more so it's darker, but yeah. And as you can see, some of the t sometimes my animals will glitch through. So what I'm gonna do later, if I remember to, I'm gonna place all this area in between them and in between the bottom part with stone. Let's see if that helps. See, like over here, you have a chicken with pigs. That's not where it's supposed to go. So yeah, and over here, I still have my tree farm. Um. I did not do anything in this back area, like I said, that was just for testing, and that's pretty much still what it's for over here. I have my bigger wheat farm because I don't want to expand this area, I like it like this. So, yeah, that's just for that. Um, I also, um, just a little side note, I started playing on hard difficulty, and I realized that playing is a lot funner. Because usually what I'll just do is I'll just play on peaceful, and I'll just play on peaceful when I'm building, and then when I'm not building, then I'll just play on easy. But I found out just playing on hard all throughout my build is a lot more fun. So, if you're new to Minecraft and you seem like kind of bored with it, just play on hard. So, yeah, well, this is the rest of my Minecraft world. I will be making another update after I complete a few things, just such as my mob spawner. And my iron golem farm. But first, I'm going to show you my mob spawner that I'm going to be putting into my main world. Okay, so I really like the structure that just looks awesome. Okay, so this is my little test world. So this is basically what it's going to be, except the top part is going to be bigger. What this does is it has the basic water here I'll just go inside and show you it has the basic mob spawner and it has two basic mob spawners on the bottom and then on the top it has a funneling system see it just has these and then the water going down and trap doors it just has two rows of that and up top let's see if I can get some light in here So this is basically what it is. A lot of spawning area. As I said, this is going to be bigger. It's a pretty simple pattern. All you have to do is put the main four things and then just keep going back with this. And I found out that if I had some all around here, mobs, when they spawned right here, they would fall. And then they would just take some damage right here. And I don't want them to take damage. So basically, once they got right here, this is where the drop falling reset, so I wouldn't want them to take any damage from there. And also, what's good about this design, this design is Endermen spawn in here, and then they fall through. Now, it does take extra hits, but in the world that I'm playing in, Endermen, um, I do not really like farming them because I usually have really good enchanted tools, so they would catch on fire, and if they catch on fire, then... They just go away, so yeah, having a truck for that is just a lot better. Now, as you can see, I have vines over here. Also, in my other thing, I'm going to have vines. This is my first design. It was basically um, an Enderman farm, but I decided that it, it strictly did Enderman, and if it didn't do Enderman, I mean, if it did other mobs, you know, it would basically just be a loss in XP. So what the plan was, I was going to make this and like carn off the ends and once they spawn they'll come through here, come through here and they would fall down into here and then there's half slabs right here to where I could just punch them then they would die. That was my first design but then I wanted it to spawn normal mobs and endermen so I made this. I don't want spiders because spiders are just annoying. So yeah. This is the end of my Minecraft world, and if you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be making more videos. Bye!